Um, probably Ernie or TG. I'm I'm leaning towards TG just because he can push as the Marine, whereas um, Ernie is kind of stationary, but he's got really good aim with the Ripper. Okay. But yeah, my vote's on TG. I think, I think yeah, TG's probably gonna be the standout player for this one. What about on Hellcats? Who's gonna pick up the kills on Hellcats? Um, if if it's really Septicemia leading, he should be sticking with the group instead of trying to solo because they seem kind of lost when he's doing the solo and they're trying to catch up because he constantly holds his dash key down. So if he sticks to their grouping, I I would say it's him. If not, Lyric the Legend. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the other two players. I think NFVI is going to be the one that picks up the kills for this match. Um, the reason why, yeah. he's a nader. He's learned to use his mortar. He got oh, a couple okay. kills with it last game. A couple sneaky right. kills. Um, and they seem to have subbed out Ryan B for tracks. The disrespect is real. Poor Ryan B, dude. Dude, Just Ryan, under, hashtag Ryan LMG, B deserves dude. better. Yeah. Hashtag Ryan B deserves better. I see um, Mecca kind of doing the same thing that we did, and he'll go north as AT, kind of uh, scout and probe and see where they're going to go. Yeah. And that's kind of the, the general strategy is, is like, when if you're on a lower tier squad like this, like, I'm, like I used to be back in the day, I think what I'm going to do is exactly as you said. We're going to try and push one team. We're going to try and take advantage of the fact that people are going to be spread out looking for vision of us mm -hmm. and we're going to try and pick up a couple kills and you know just try and keep the the fights kind of close you know not doing anything like you know last match where we had a, we had a situation where a guy ran in the rape lines you know that's not yeah. I get it you're not having the best of games, but you still got to follow the rules. Yeah, you can't be can't be breaking the rules. Interesting development. DP is in. Whoa, our Over admin Havoc. has graced the presence. Welcome to the game, DP. I expect big things from him, sir. Actually, I'm gonna change the person that watches DP now. <laughs> He's the one. He's got a cool banner going. I yeah. like it. Anybody's going to catch the 40s, it's going to be DP. <laughs> <laughs> and Mecha switched back from AT to Marine. There we go again. You know, most overpowered class in the game. He's got to play Marine. You know, our own admin is playing Marine right now. Yeah. Right. I mean, it, it's busted, dude. I'm telling, I keep telling people, everyone's like, no, you're crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. You know? ODT said, start the match already. It should start now. It's 10 15. Boom. So, how many kills do you think Ernie gets with this Ripper? Mm, I'm going to say ballpark and around 18. Okay. Now, here's the real question How many kills does DP get? I'll give him 10. I was going to go right around 10, too. Yeah. I was going to go 10. Oh, and we're off. There we go. Let's see where these guys go. Immediately going north from uh, Septicemia or Hellcat side here. Whoa, Imperial. Is not in either. I'm sure they'll do subs at 15. Oh? Is he setting up an ambush already on their side? Ooh, I like it. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't say sit in base and read them for five minutes. It's, it might take longer than five minutes to read the rules. You know, sometimes we got some <laughs> slow readers going on, you know? <laughs> And and some people may be um, 
a little inebriated or, you know, might might not be able to comprehend as well. I mean, you just would watch that 49ers game. Oof. If you're a Giants fan, you're definitely feeling it right now. <laughs> you're big sad, actually, because some guys were rocking and rolling at halftime. And just they lose like that. Oof. Actually, this this team's got a good flank. On, oh, Fosto snuffed it oh, out. Oh, Jimbo down. Jimbo the god, no. No. And FEI, this is where this is where you can make your money. Yeah. Start launching that Nader, babe. You get lawed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Couple bad deaths right there. That dude needs to get out of here. Oh, Staley leeches both kills from Oh, Sam. nice. <laughs> nice. Jimbo, he's back in. He's back in the and fight. I don't know. And he's dead again. Oh, two deaths Poor in that Jimbo, same dude. Oh, Dang it. They're running the El Chapo play, going through yeah. the tunnel, B3. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is something we've seen Septicemia do kind of a lot. He like he really likes his tunnel, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a good way to kind of hide vision of, of where you're going to go. Uh, I'd like to see him mix it up and do some fakes, though, but let's see. Looks like Ernie is leading the charge back up north. Oh, Raver is logged off. Maybe it's a little bit too late for him. Uh oh, that's not good for FUP. Oh, Raver's back on. So we have a fight up here in the north. This is actually kind of bad. This is one thing that I saw them do quite a lot. They're trying to cut off angles and everything, but at the same time, you're forcing yourself into not having angles either. Yeah. All right. If you're gonna do this, you need to have like maybe a maybe a nader needs to be in this. Oh, it's all it's gonna be money. Oh, almost two clutch uh -oh. mortars right there. Yep, yeah, I saw it. I was holding my breath, hoping it was gonna hit, honestly, but it didn't. Kind of sad yeah. about it. And FBI, he's been real one. He's been the one really trying that nader out, and every week he's getting better with it. Yeah, I mean. He's just gotta get used to the mortar and the, and the distance of it. So, eventually he'll he'll get it on point. Yeah, I mean he'll hone it in, and you know then he can on a better map that may be a little bit more better for it. He could, you know, put in a little bit of work. Yeah, for sure, especially on maps like EC. Yeah, this is this is a rough one. Let's see. Looks like they're going back out north. Since there's a little, maybe a little bit of beef between Octavian and Max. <laughs> <laughs> they're going at each other in spec here for a little bit. <laughs> Oh man. All right, now we got we got these guys going north yet again. Yep. Ernie and his group are underneath T-shirt. Mecca and the rest are on ridge at the moment. I mean, these guys are one battle. I mean, they're they're one ambush away from making this a, a one one kill game or not a one battle game. For if sure. If they happen to catch them somewhere, then. You know, just all it takes is just a one. You know. But they are managed and they eat up a lot of time off the clock. You know, they're keeping it pretty close. Um, they really, really like using this north part of the map, which is under underutilized. I can't oh, fucking talk sure. today because I'm dizzy. <laughs> We're all dizzy, dude. No, I'm dizzy from that last fucking game, to be honest. Kill switch takes down TG. All the way around. <laughs> uh, yeah, my bad. TG takes down kill switch. Apologize for that. 
And back to the north fight. Septicemi has got this building, but he's getting flanked by Sabo. They're they're about to ball up here and all die. They gave up that angle. They should have held that. Yeah, NFBI almost took out Staley with that 40, though. Yeah, like they have to hold some angles here. Like they just gave all the angles up and then just died. Right, so that's not good. No, not at all. If there's a couple things that Hellcats can take away from these games and work on, what do you think they need to work on, Eric? Because they've been getting active. Honestly, they just need to work on positioning. That's going to be the biggest thing for them. Like you said, they just gave up angles when they should have been able to kind of hold it. Um, especially the medic's positioning. I've been watching that dude, and a lot of the times he's... While, while no battle is even going on, he's just kind of separated from the group for whatever reason. I don't know if he's typing or what the case may be. And then when he finally starts to catch up to the group, they're engaged and he gets cut off. Yeah. So I, I think they that is the core focus that they need to work on. Everything else will come after that, but positioning is key. And how can they learn better positioning? Because that's a hard thing to teach, right? It is. And I mean, the good thing is, as you said, they're active and that's the kind of the best way to do it. And honestly, um, the other thing is having one select leader i know recently it's uh, it's been a lot on renal to uh to lead and if that's the case they need to stick to it because i know during the week he's not always there somebody else switches up changes the leading style yada 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 um but they need to stick to one leader and just kind of look and see how some of the other squads position in certain fights I'm not saying take notes, but I'm saying just kind of observe how their fights unfold and see what they do in certain situations. Yeah. See, like in this, in this spot, they're kind of not in good spots. Like you got half of the players above, I guess that little building, and the other half, like NFEI, goes down because there's no medic to help them out. Right now, they're all gonna fall. I can, I think they're all gonna fall to the right. They need to actually hold this angle. Yeah. But they're giving up these angles and now they're just pinched and dead. And now they're making a last minute push call on the left as opposed to. Yeah. Now, do you think morale is a little bit low over there in Hellcats because they just took a pretty, they took a pretty loss. And now um, they're playing again. Probably. I, I would. Be surprised if morale wasn't a little low. Yeah. So you've been on squads that's getting blown out like this before. How do you change it around for any of them guys that are listening? Honestly, I, I'm going to go back to what I said originally before the match started. I'm going to ball up and just no hesitation. I'm pushing the first group I see. Because if I can get a few kills going, get some momentum going, and kind of help boost that morale, then it changes a little bit. I'm not yeah. saying they're going to come back and win or anything like that, but you start getting some kills on the board and it starts to feel a little bit better, you know? Yeah. Because right now we have a 30 0. Yeah. Have we ever had a match in USL history where a team has not gotten a kill? I think the closest was back in like. Negi would know this either like season two or three. I think it was SE versus New Beginning, and it was like the final score is five to four. <laughs> I remember, I remember that. I also yeah. remember a match with SFO versus I think it was STL Squad. That was Semper Five versus oh. STL Squad, and it was like two hundred to ten. I know because I played on STL Squad that game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to bring back that that that, that memory. Uh, it's all right. Oh, and FBI takes one down. There he is. Sabo down. Get another one. Oh. But the the two people to watch for or for dead weight popping off. You got TG seven and zero, tactical six and zero. 
kind of kind of right where I I envisioned it honestly. Yeah. See, they're they're doing the right things by gathering up on this rock, you know. It's just when they actually get in battle. Here's another thing I don't like right now about this map. This tunnel should have rape lines going right at that entrance to line up with uh, the other side of the rock. Because that would kind of hinder the whole double back thing. And it just kind of doesn't make any sense. Whoa. Sabo says, I say watch the ma nader on Mumble. They're using <laughs> Mumble over there. Whoa. What? That's what he said. Maybe, I, maybe. I don't I don't believe him. Maybe Dead Weight is using Mumble. Could that be a reason why they started the season a little rough, Eric? I mean Mumble's pretty bad, dude, in comparison to Discord. <laughs> I mean now we're while, learning. while we're at it, let's let's just go back to Ventrilo or Team Speaker Roger Wilco, goddammit. I mean I'm I'm in for type leading. Let's let's go all the way back. Bring back evil ways with the fucking cow macros. Let's do it, dude. Yep. We got another fight up here in the north. This is like the third fight they've had up here. Let's see if they hold these angles, though. Because right now it's not bad. Oh, right now it's not, switch. but they, they gave up the left angle already. Oh, now we're about to get caged in and die here. Yeah. And it's hard, it's hard for them to do this. Like, hold the building or something. I don't even know what you do. Jimbo goes down. Lyrics gonna get caught here Eric's dead here uh, what <laughs> tracks goes down I'm tilted hard flamed <laughs> NFVI is trying. Oh, nice Ooh. law. Oh, TG goes down. No. That was right. a um interesting chainsword. I'm not going to lie. It didn't really hit on my screen, but takes him out. Yeah, a little unfortunate there. So we currently have 46 to 2. Yep. The two Hellcats kills are in FBI and Septicide via. Yep. Each hold it down. 50% of the kills each for their team. <laughs> and then you have TG at 10 and 1 and Sabo at 8 and 1. And I think Ernie 7 and 0. Let's see. Yep, 7 and 0. Yep. At the 15 minute mark, we got 15 more minutes. And for Hellcats, they, I wouldn't mind them fighting in this area if they just hold the angles. True. Now, oh, kill switch DC'd. He says, put me back in. I got to kill dudes. Yeah. Where's his team right now, though? They're all good. Oh, there's, there's, all right, cool. They swung back around and, get, and got him. That's one of the things I do like about these guys is they're trying to stay compact as a group, um, but it's kind of hurting them in the same aspect because they're not holding any angles. Look at this tiny rock ambush. I like I, it. I approve 100%. Let them rush Pasto. Kill him. Don't die. There you go. Yeah. Septicemia. There you go. There you go. Get a little bit of kills in there. Now we just kill them all. We plus one. Yeah, they, they actually should be pushing on this, but they're Every, waiting to oh, ambush Ernie. Oh, oh are they going to get him? Oh, are they going to get him? Oh, oh, Tidy Rock, please. Tidy Rock, please. Oh, saw... oh? <laughs> they, there's oh, no vision. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's that all the law, way bad. That law went through those rocks? Excuse me? It's It's all the way bad. Dang it, guys. I like the play, though. You know, a little bit of creativity thrown in there. It's yep. just, you know, the map is shit. <laughs> yep. Come on, NFVI. Get that shotgun on DP. Oh, 
You know what? The, you, DP is going nuts right now, apparently. Yeah, he's getting them kills, man. Let's see. Track, apparently, I've been told Trax is getting tilted. DP is 8 0 right now. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Let's go, admin. Represent. Just goes to show you how overpowered Marina is. I wasn't going to say nothing. Right. I, I, you know, I wanted to load that one up for you. <laughs> but can we talk about how Marina is a little bit OP? And next season, I want to see nerfs. Right. Boom. Marina, uh. you now have 50 HP. Your clip is cut in half. No oh, law. God. No law. <laughs> no. No law. We're just going to change it. Take it away. Oh, that's rough. And you do six damage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> if anything, I, I think I said this last week, I would say um, you, you cut the clip size by like 10. Whoa. And I think, I think they'll be all right. 20 round, 20 round mags? Yeah. Oof. Oof. I know you must live in one of them states where they banned assault weapons, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 20 round clip stuff is a little sad. <laughs> I mean, everything, something... everything else about it Aww. is pretty well balanced. So the only thing I can think of that would still keep it relevant is to reduce clip size, and that would be it. Yeah. I wish that was the real KVQ. Me too, actually. Ernie's going back north with his crew. Where is Hellcats at? They are Where B2. Is... Where is Teriel? He needs to be getting some game time in. True. Is Brohart medic? Yeah, Brohart's medic. Interesting, considering he lags, his kit might jam. Yeah. They did the they did the famous double back, right here from Hellcats. Oh man, I think that North guy might get spotted though. Who is it? Septicemia? Yeah. Fosto's already on the other side of him. Yeah. Hellcat should continue to go south and right and go into weed. Go into weed, boys. Yeah, you have a nader. You can do this. Yeah, make it the weed, please. I mean, that's... Tracks don't go up the tunnel. Oh, they're... is it another oh, double oh, back? Oh, oh, the double. Oh, no, they've seen him, though. They've seen him. They should have kept going to weed. Jimbo is hungry. He really wanted that mecha kill, and he gets that dude killed for it. Almost. Trax takes down Sabotage. There you go, Trax. Get you, get you a couple kills in this game. And FBI, he's hunting. Oh, he and FBI down. is down. Yeah. Ernie goes down, Septicemia. Lyric versus Fosto. Lyric's kind of lighting him up here. Come on, Lyric. Get you one more in. He's low, Lyric. Oh, you got to rush him, Lyric. They're behind you, bud. Oh, oh. no. Oh. See, the aim, was, the aim was there. Lyric almost took him down, you know. Lyric's always had decent aim. He's just, you know, never, in my opinion, other than in SL and USL, he's never really fully put it together, in my opinion. Like, he's he's got moments where his aim is dead on, but he can't strafe, or he's just in bad positioning, or he'll be in good positioning, and his aim is just off. I mean, he's a legend. You know? He is Lyric the legend. You are right. He's pieced me up quite a bit. Cut a few times. I can say the same, honestly. Uh, block for kill switch. Good job, oh. Septicemia. 
Oh, get Sabo here. You guys see him. Hunt him. Oh, DP with the flank on Raekwon. And... Oh, kill switch goes down. Yeah. No, this is all the way bad for the boys. Come on, boys. Get it together. Get it together. We got to fall here. We don't want to die. Lyric says, you know what? We're pushing I'm tired. This. I'm tired of being passive. Oh, Gift with an excellent flank here, though. Yeah. He just ate them up with that flank. Oh, Ernie switched from Ripper to AT. He's like, I'm tired of standing still to shoot. Yeah, he's like, that's, that's overrated. Raekwon goes down. And FBI really hasn't had a chance to shoot a mortar yet. This team's kind of not been in position for that to happen. Yeah, I mean... Oh, well, should go Baza's, Baza's in. Why is okay, Jimbo okay. not playing Ripper? I don't know, man. He, uh, he definitely should be, in my opinion. I, I agree with that. If I was these guys, I'd be taking all the support classes and just camping something. For sure. I'd have a demo. I'd have, the, especially on this map where weed is an option or that north building that they love going to. 100% demo, ripper, LMG, AT, light them up. Yeah. You'll take someone down. You know? Mm hmm. Right now we have the current score at 70 to 5. Oh, Ryan B comes up. Oh, Baza already out. Poor Baza. He, he didn't even get a chance to run around. He might have been AFK. Uh, Kill switch eats a stream from Fosto, but Fosto could go down here. Fosto, he, he should Fosto go down here. Fosto got there. lit up. He's low. There you go, boys. There you go. Get you a couple kills on that board. Now let's push. Yeah. Be aggressive. Don't, don't let, let that little... Don't. Oh, good mortar. Oh, so close. Shoot another one. I know you got one. Shoot it again, an FBI. Oh, this this group is getting lit up over here. 4v3. Yeah. DP. Mecha. Oh, good oh, law. TG just says, not today. Not today. TG came that in like a wreck. That was a good push ball. by that group, though. Really good push, actually. I don't know what the other group was doing, but. Oh, what would you think about a, uh, in the champ game, a best of five chess, 10 minutes <laughs> to, to, to determine sides? <laughs> I mean, I th I think we're we're solid with the brain bug being our representative for that. Dude, um, I, can't, I can't play no chess, dude. <laughs> I, I used to I used to play all the time with my grandfather when I was a kid, but I haven't played since, so I I lose real quick. I saw, I saw XQC get checkmated by I think it was Moist Critical in like six moves or something. <laughs> it was pretty oh, funny. Oh no. <laughs> There was a there was a lot of cheering and dizziness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have another fight. Go to weed, boys. Four minutes going to weed. Please, weed play. Almost a good law by lyric. Oh, they're getting pinched out though. Yeah, you should have fell in the weed. And if he has DP no is unstoppable. Maybe, maybe, maybe Mecca's been sleeping on DP this season. You know? I mean, DP's 12 Ooh. and 0. Almost, almost takes Sabo down there, though. Oh, I mean, Foster might die here to stop the Simia, though. 
Oh, you gotta hit your bullets, though. You got, yeah, never mind. Yeah, you can't afford to miss on AT. No. Not anymore. DP going around for the flank. He's gonna get it set to see me here. here. Boom, lol. Oh, get him, DP. Don't let back, I get it. Oh, oh. Leached. If I'm DP, I'm telling Mecca to fall back. <laughs> this one's mine. <laughs> You're already 16 to know. How many more kills do you need, you greedy, greedy man? <laughs> Dang it, Hellcats. Run north, boys. <laughs> Take time. Take the El Chapo tunnel. Rape lines are about to be voided there. This is what they yep. can truly get gross. NFBI, turn around and run. Backpedaling is not going to get you anywhere. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh good law. Good law. Oh, uh, uh, we have a pinch. Oh. Jimbo. Yeah, Let's go, Jimbo. Take another one down. There you go. Yes. Boys. There you go, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Get you a couple kills on this board. Please send somebody underneath the flank around on them. Kill switch? No. Yeah, you got to do something. You guys are fighting on two fronts. You need to make up your mind and figure out which team you want to push. Jimbo says, I'm, I'm leading this charge. Come with me. So pick up your rucksacks and follow me. Oh, no. Oh, now they're, yeah, now they're kind of boxing. Jimbo backing oh. up to a nade. That dude's the last one alive. See if he can to get one. Nope. Nope. Oh, power long. A minute left. Pressure's really on dead weight. See if they can get 100 here. This is dead weight's first win this season, you know. So hopefully a big morale booster for them guys. Hopefully. I mean, it, it is surprising to me that they haven't won another match before this one. But, you know, sometimes it plays like that. Ryan B with the flank on DP. Ooh, Ooh Ryan B, get him. Ooh, shooting. If, yeah. if he chose a target, he would have had one of them. Uh, yeah, he just chose to shoot a little bit. He spread the damage out. Yeah, you know, he's like, my DPS is going to be off the charts, and Mecca just got streamed by Jimbo. Come on. Uh, oh. Trax, Trax takes down Sabotage. Trax is getting in there. Old soccer brawler getting in. Trax is pumped up right now. That's what I like to see. Get in yeah. there, Trax. Get pumped up. Good launch, Jimbo. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Trax goes down to CC. <laughs> oh, flank underneath on them. Oh, good kill. Brillhart goes down. Oh, Gift goes down. Jimbo goes down. <laughs> oh no, the, the hints and nade messed up uh, septic <laughs> stash <dead>. there. <laughs> All right, final score 106 to 11. Mecca going 21 and 0, TG 18 and 2, DP 15 and 0, and I think Tactical was 15 and 1. Woo. All right, all right. And MVP to Sabo. Congrats, dude. Let me go set up this next match. I think we're all staying here because it's going to be like a five-man booth. Ooh. Yeah. 